Welcome back to more Pokemon White. So last time, we made a start on Charleston Cave, and yeah, I made a lot of mistakes uh, during my last part. So yeah, well, of course, the biggest one was um, not learning or forgetting Electro Ball, because that would have been Joltik's best Electro move at this point, but oh well. We are dealing with it well, though. Electro up is actually proving pretty decent. So anyway, we're going to go on to the base for now. And um, yeah, we're going to be using Joltik some more against this trainer. I'm really serious about training. I even visit this electrified cave to train myself and my Pokemon. Alright. So yeah, Joltik has definitely been a pleasant surprise to use because yeah, yesterday I was trying to train up, um, I was trying to train up uh, Taino, and yeah, that was an unpleasant surprise of how bad it was, so yeah. So you can have rock sides, I'm gonna get out of here. I mean, yeah, if I knew that, I wouldn't go to Arcadus, but oh well. <laughs> well, even this, okay. So yeah, I'm already making mistakes, so yeah, that's a good sign of to come, though, you know. Um, yeah, I did know that Arcadus would take out, so that's good at least. And yeah, level 32, that's nice. And the Zebras come out. Uh, we could try and pull those. Although it is faster, so yeah. So this is not going to end too great. <laughs> one HG survival, well, okay. We do low at speed. Mm, we could try Joltik again, but yeah. I mean, we could. The only problem is if it goes a flame charge right now, which I'm going to hope it doesn't. <laughs> this is a very risky... Oh, never mind. That was a bad idea on my part. I'm already <laughs> playing not so great, am I? So yeah. Yeah, let's not do anything stupid. Or anything more stupid than now. Back to armor we go. So anyway. Yeah, Tynamo, yeah, was really hard to train last time. I can definitely see why I grinded it up before, rather than, you know, um, trying to use it against trainers. Yeah, it wasn't great, so yeah. But yeah, Joltik though is doing a lot better. Of course, this trainer, yeah, was a little bit... It's definitely a lot more harder for them, because, yeah, you can't use our ledge type moves. And that's our main source of damage, so yeah. At least we took out no Poco went down somehow, so yeah. And yeah, okay, it's actually got a level up. I almost done crunch. So yeah, that's better than track press, so I'll get that. You know, yeah, we don't have dragon type coverage, but yeah, dragon breast not as strong as crunch. The electric shock racing, ye falling down. Alright, so yeah, now we need to go back and heal again. Luckily, yeah, that doctor does make a say, yeah. Training up a Pokemon is not too bad for you. But anyway, you always want to check these dust spouts because, again, getting a gem is nice, but yeah, you're most likely going to run to the but it feels like so, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, Tyron was definitely hard to get to it, but yeah, of course, like a lot of, you know, weak Pokemon, Pokemon that start weak, it does become very nice once it's all trained up, so yeah. And yeah, Choltek, yeah, not as big as of a reward, but yeah, it's still going to be a very solid electric type. That's obviously why I'm using it, so yeah. And yeah, of course, not having as rough of a start as Tynamo is definitely quite nice. Spain. something I probably should talk about last time was here. So I'm talking about Choltek, because I believe it's actually the smallest Pokemon. It is very tiny indeed, so yeah. Although, yeah, because of Book of Black and White Sprites here, yeah, it doesn't feel that way, but yeah, hey. There's another thing too that's kind of funny about Chalter too, and actually not its evolution. It's pretty good in the TCG one time, because yeah, they printed a um, Chaltic with the attack Night March, which I believe what that does is is that it does more damage based on how many Night March Pokemon you have in your discard. So yeah, I think Chaltic is actually one of the best attackers for that. Hey, yeah, there's also a Pump Kaboo with Night Charge and a Lampet. The Lampet just gets discarded because you can't you you don't run Liquid in the deck, so yeah. It's something very fun. I think Chiltic is used because it has the it has one that easier Night Marches, I think, so yeah. Or maybe electric or well, lightning this is actually known as. Lightning matched up better against the meta, but yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure about that. Anyway. So now we can put Arceus in the back, although Arceus is definitely close to an evolution. And yeah, one extrudes, one less extrudes away. And yeah, by the way, another thing about that I did a lot in last up was 
misprints Keiko. I'm pretty sure it's Keiko. And yeah, I'll talk about why that's the case in a bit. Unless comments already helped me out, but anyway. Anyway, yup. <laughs> Might have repels, but yeah, they aren't gonna protect us against the Drubber attack, but anyway. So yeah, I was talking about Night March. Yeah, that's definitely one thing that comes to mind when thinking about Chiltix, so yeah. Let's get this Hyper Potion. I think the trains here are the scariest ones, but I guess we'll see. Also, there's something in here. That's Star Beast, very nice. But yeah, I like Night March. It's a very funny little deck. I think it also is pretty successful too, so yeah. That's always nice to see. We got Red Candy. I think I did make the Dust Cut disappear, so oh well. Okay, maybe getting those gems is nice, but yeah. Uh, of course, it's not the end of the world that we don't get them, so yeah. Anyway, let's go find another trainer. You know, an electrified place like this, there's so many challenges for me, so I'll take that challenge. That is an ace trainer. Yeah, I haven't actually told that much about ace trainers, but yeah. Uh, I actually kind of like what they look like in this game, too. They, uh, they generally use, I believe, EV trained or, or the, actually no, I think the Pokemon actually have higher IVs, is what it is. So, they're gonna feel a lot stronger than your regular trainers, so yeah. Anyway, we're gonna try a bug fight here. It is weak to that, so yeah, we do have the timid nature though, so... I mean, the damage is not bad. Too bad we got flat, so uh, yeah. Might not be able to land our last attack, but that's okay. We'll try it though. Just that, yeah, okay, good. If we didn't uh, get breakthrough, we would have side shot this in the face, which yeah, that would not have been fun. And yeah, Dubber, we could beat this. Bug and Electric does have some decent type synergy, to be honest, because yeah, you're not weak to flying anymore. So that's good. And we're not weak to ground either, so yeah. They cover the, the two types decently. Hey, Lilligrim, though, that could be very scary, depending on what happens. Nah, uh, it goes to Tia, that's alright. Yeah, I think it does a like that so that's why I'm a bit scared of it, so yeah. Well, we actually break through once again, so that's good. Oh uh, yeah, damage, uh, I mean, I could find the way, but if we break through, unfortunately we don't. Good thing is, is that, yeah, again, that's on skill, obviously. It is only grass type moves, but still. Um, of course, slowing it down could be very good here. And yeah, hopefully we can break through. Uh, yeah, when I really want to paralyze it, I always hit myself in confusion, so that's always fun. At least it's not doing too much with the Cliver Dance, and there we go. So at least that will stop the danger of the Cliver Dance, so yeah. At least a little bit. But yeah, Bug Fight will be a free go, and we find some that, so that's good. So yeah. So yeah, again, Bug Fight does work kind of well to go, and yeah. They are going to get a bunch of Bug Stabs soon. That is definitely one good reset to Lucky Oak at this point. As well as, you know, catch up to the rest of the team as well. Anyway, level 33. Hmm, I'm electrified. So yeah, I was going to talk about Keiko. So yeah, the reason I think it's Keiko is that... Um, basically, in Japan, there's a special type of car called a Keika, which is also spelled K-E-I. And yeah, a Keika basically... I think the idea behind them is they... They were very popular because, um, okay, fire engine is pretty cool. Because the small size, and also, yeah, they use very small engines too. So, yeah. Of course, that made them very cheap, and also, I believe, less, you, less taxes upon them too, I believe. So, yeah. So, they were quite popular. And, yeah, they still kind of are popular, although, yeah. In the 90s, there were a lot more sporty K cars, like the Suzuki Cappuccino, the Honda Beat, the, uh, and the Autosam AC1. But yeah, and those don't really exist anymore. Like, yeah, there's way less sporty K cars. It's more like, you know, more family focused cars, but anyway. And again, it's K, so they're called K cars. That's at least how I've heard them bring them out, so yeah, that's why I think it's K. But anyway, there's an end jump scare right there. So, we're not going to worry about him for a little bit. And yeah, Chortlick's almost caught up. Although, yeah, I do want to maybe get to 36. And that's, of course, when Chortlick evolves. And then they're going to become very good. I want to solve all the mysteries in the world. For that purpose, I'll keep fighting. Alright, done. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to fight this scientist then. 
Hey, we're almost done with trust. Okay, he has a flank. Yeah, we can deal with that. We got a good level now. We're at a good level, and yeah, it can't hurt us too badly as well. Because, yeah, I think does have a bit of problems with its main form of attacks. Steel and electric against fellow electric types, so yeah. Anyway, you only have one Pokemon, so I think a Volt Switch will take you out. If it doesn't, then oh well. Volt Switch is slightly stronger, so yeah. And yup. <laughs> a bad damage roll, so. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really thought that would take it. Oh well. At least it's gonna take itself out with the Rocky Helmet, so there you go. Not bad at all. So yeah, we got a little bit of like, strength, that's okay. Whatever, win or lose, mysteries only deepen. We'll take that though. Anyway, you get max potion. And the prize is another hit I'm hit too. I'm missing I'm assigned, maybe. I guess we could have a look up here. Yeah, that's what it was. Alright. Yeah, this is yeah, basically back at the start, but we did make a shortcut back, so that's good. Here it is, like so. So that was actually had some pretty good reach right there. Yeah now, yeah, we need to make our way back. Um which yeah, I think we need to use the crystals to do that. So yeah, let's do that, obviously. <laughs> because yeah, I mean there's still like a few trainers left, but yeah. Of course we would like to fight them, maybe get a bit more experience on Jokic, so yeah. Go. Now we can go over here, and we're back here. So yeah, nice shortcut back. Although yeah, it's basically like a one-way shortcut. Yeah, there's one more trainer. Let's take him on. Take this. The winning strategy I've developed. Let's see this winning strategy done. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this guy's called Corky, which is an interesting name. And he has a Whimsicott, so yeah, we're gonna see if we can bug bite our way through this. Again, it's gonna be a little difficult. I could even go for another Thunder Wave if I want, but I guess we'll see. He has Gust. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, Cross, so... <laughs> well, Cross, that wasn't too bad, so yeah, hopefully it doesn't keep growing Gust then. Anyway, another Gust. Yeah, not too much. Once again, keep going for that nice bug fight, and then yeah, uh, might be able to take it out here. Yeah, just keep going for this. It does an Oricon at some point, but yeah, not this level. So yeah, there you go. Done. What's your next one gonna be? Oh, we already level 34. Awesome. Because we can now get Signal Beam, which is way better than bug fight. So yeah, it's the same 5 power, special bug type move that has a chance to confuse as well. So yeah. And his up focus did do this, so yeah, uh, I'll probably get out of here because even though we have the type advantage, if it has, um, if it has, um, sturdy, we could be in a lot of trouble, so yeah. Uh, let's get, let's get Keiko back in here. And yeah, it does have a rock time move, obviously. And yeah, now we're just gonna hit it with a nice side shot. You know, yeah, it's not gonna do too much, it does have pretty good defense, so yeah, side shot is targeting that. Yep. And yeah, also crunch is quite bad. We're actually fast now, which is interesting, so yeah. Let's go for another one, and uh, there you go. Take out the tier 2 bit. We did see a train with Ar Arkham earlier, so it makes sense that. We fight one with tier 2 as well. <laughs> I feel down. And yeah, what else is here? A magnet. We'll probably get that to Joltek at some point. Increase the power ledge type moves. And yeah, considering that yeah, Thunder is going to be a move I'm going to consider, that nah, makes a lot of sense to keep around, I feel like. Anyway. So, what should we do now? Alright, so yeah. I'm thinking about how I want to lead my next battle. Maybe I'll keep Joltik in the lead, although yeah, I'm probably not going to be using Joltik too much in this battle. This is that, yeah, they don't have the best type matchups in this battle, I feel like, so yeah. But... We do have Signal Beam now, Signal Beam is actually pretty decent in this fight, so yeah, we might actually use Troll to get a decent amount. We'll see how it goes. This again, we start the Lucky Egg on it. I'm probably going to take the lucky, off, lucky Egg off once we get to 36. Anyway, let's fight him now. Many different values, thanks to Kevin, the world become grey. Well, it becomes grey. 
that's unpredictable. Our separate Pokemon people and Black and White will be played this soon. <laughs> Q-Tar drop. Okay, that will Pokemon become perfect beams. Yes, this is my that is my dream. That is a dream I must fill. V, do you have a dream of your own? Yeah. You have a dream? That's wonderful. I'll learn just what kind of dream you have in battle. So yeah, let's fight Team Plasma N once again. And yeah, once again, he has a completely different team based on the Pokemon in this area. And yeah, first one's Baldur. This is the Pokemon that I've watched each other because it's very good against. But hey, we do have a nice signal beam for it. Problem is, is that yeah, if it hits us with a rot type move, that could be very painful. So yeah, we're gonna go to Armlet then. We're gonna play it safe. So let's do that. And we do have Baldur's so this thing now. So yeah, we'll do quite well against it. And yeah, he has Iron Defense. So yeah, I could have actually just went straight for the signal beam. Oh well, they want to take the risk. Because like, I was taking too many risks <laughs> yesterday when I was trying to turn that freaking time. So yeah. And he keeps over behind iron defense, alright. Do you believe that Pokeballs help us understand one of us? Alright, let's just keep using it. Oh, I'm actually breaking through. And if I want to, yeah, I could also switch back into Jolt if they are. Again, I don't want to risk getting hit by a powerful rock type move, so yeah. That's why we're just going to keep at it. Get this nice bulldoze, so there you go. I like bulldoze too, looks kind of cool as well. He is going for power trim, which is interesting. I mean, it didn't turn it, so maybe yeah, we could get like the free switch into um into Joltip or well. Take out that bulldoze. Now what's coming out is on Joltip, so yeah. I do think our Joltik can take it on, so yeah, I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to go back into Joltik. Yes, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we can use Signal Beam against it. I don't think it's resisted, so yeah, let's... And he just goes for Flog Bite, alright. Yep, that confirms it. Flog is neutral against himself, so yeah. We got the nice Signal Beam, and he actually got the Confuse, so yeah, there we go. And yeah, his one actually took the attack pretty good. Unfortunately, yeah, our ability's gone, but it's okay. Yeah, imagine if I used um, <laughs> Arcadus against this, that would be funny, but well. And yeah, I think Chilter could take on the rest of his team. Very seeds coming out. And yeah, again, one bulky poke on this one, but it is neutral to this, so yeah. We can try to take a watch of that. And yeah, we resist that pork. So that's good. Keep going on that nice signal beam. He doesn't like using items, so yeah, we don't have to worry about that. He's going for Metal Claw. Yeah, I can't actually hit. I'm chilted too badly because it mainly only learns grass and steel, so yeah, that's good. Pick it up. And last of this clink. So something interesting is, is that I'll show you that my love for my friends penetrates every semi bulb. Behold! So he's away now, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, this clink, I think the interesting thing about for me is you are actually forced to see this clink and there's a very, I want to say good reason why. I, uh, the story wants you to see a clink, and yet I assume this is the way. To... This is basically the way the game makes you see one, so yeah. So, anyway, we'll keep using that Electro Web. He keeps going for that Gear Grind. Which, again, that is definitely the best type to go for in this situation. And yeah, we're low, but with a nice Volt Switch, we'll be able to take it up, so yeah. There we go, take out the quick and we took him on and so yeah, there you go. My friend's getting hurt, that's what a Pokemon battle is. This is why. It's a impossible for me to win while playing bad about being a trainer. As if I could perceive the truth and something as mean as a battle. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with the true Pokemon. Theo! Just a little further to Mr. the City. Yonka, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard that Theo's voice from that far away. Theo, who's this trainer? Frustrated for what you're thinking. You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon people. You put Pokemon to categories in arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that. The very idea of Pokedex revolts you. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my, looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine. Which is equally understandable. How about if I if how about if all people get to disciple themselves how to write to Pokemon? You're saying that I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter what, whether the Pokemon suffer. I refuse to the to the existence of a world like that. Well, 
Uh, I don't expect him to change his mind right away, but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data. But for Pokemon and people to get along better, we need to take steps to learn more about them. I'm Theo, I'm gonna go with Professor Chima now, because I'm her bodyguard. Yeah, now Bianca's been hired as bodyguard, but anyway. I wonder how good of a paying job it is, but anyway. It's healing, and we're in Miss Shorten City. So yeah, let's go heal, and let's explore Miss Shorten. Because yeah, I kinda like this place. The music's very um exciting sounding, and yeah. I don't know, I always have good feelings about this place, I guess. Anyway, let's go talk to the people in here. When a Pokemon learns to move hidden power, somehow I can tell what type what that move will be. Show you what type of hidden power your Pokemon learn? Well, yeah, the only one that really matters in that regard is Kiko, because Kiko actually has had the move. Bug, apparently, alright. The entry and pass power. What in the world is the entry link? So, anyway, we already checked what you had. Uh, you do have a Techno Machine Shop. And yeah, he sells weather moves. Hail, sunny day, rain that sandstorm. So yeah, hail. It's not that good. All it really does is boost the power of the blizzard, and yeah, all non-ice types take damage from it. Sunny day has a lot of properties: chlorophyll Pokemon, boost the power of fire moves, solar beam. Very good one as well. And yeah, something like you know, cottony, Wimsicott, this it, they can set up very easily. Rain Dance is also very powerful, good for Swiss and Pokemon, powers up war type moves, we can fire type moves, this week it's war type moves by the way. Um, Hunt Thunder's is 100% accurate, a lot of good things come with Rain Dance, so yeah. And yeah, even like Light Bulb too, Light Bulb's also a pretty good weather set because it's fast, so yeah. There's also that, and by Sandstorm, Sandstorm's a lot better in this game. Like yeah, it was always pretty good because it boosts the special defense of rock types, damages everything but rock, ground, and steel. But now we have Extra in the game, and Extra is Sand Rush. There's some other Sand Rush Pokemon too, like Stantlin as well, but yeah. Uh, that's definitely the main abuser. So yeah, Sand is definitely worth thinking about now in this generation, because of the insane power boost that gives Extra. Anyway, let's go talk to some people. Skyler's grandpa was electric pilot. Skyler's at sea gym with us. She's a really nice person. Anyway, in here, that family's very fussy at Pokemon moves. Training Seat Heart to receive repeating checks is one way to get heart skills. If you show off your Pokemon to lay in Drift, you can get heart skills too. We'll probably do that because I can't want really to use a heart skill, obviously. That was the reminder goal. I never reboot the Pokemon Lem while they're leveling up, but I can make Pokemon remember this means. I'm bringing a heart skill, make Pokemon remember this. So yeah. Of course, let's get Electro Ball back. And you can also run a Spider Web, which um, stops opponents from pulling, so yeah. Because again, Chultic is very fast, so I can make good use of this. So yeah, I'll get our Electro Web. Electro Web has definitely done what it's needed to. And this is the Brutal Leader. Or was I again? Oh, that's right, I'm the Brutal Leader. You'll, you've come to make me force to Pokemon Effect some moves. That's good if you want to forget um, HM moves. But yeah, as you see, yeah, he is a little bit late in the game, so you need to be careful of that. In the instruments, time for Moose Living. So, Reflect type. This is a very strange move indeed. So, yeah, uh, it's cool to see it being explained. Reflect type is a very conformist smooth that makes your type match your target's type. This works really well if you're spending time with someone and you decide you have nothing in common. Use a smooth and voila, it's the common crowd. Okay, so, yeah. Not many people learn it is the problem, so, yeah, you don't see it being used that often. So yeah, now yeah, Joltek is a bit better. I guess Electrical is a pretty decent move. Again, 64 speed's not bad, and you can actually manipulate to do more damage on the way, so yeah, that's also pretty cool. Anyway, we have some more people to talk to in town, so here they are. Oh hey, Tia, right? Let me see your progress for a moment. What do we have here? So you found 69 Pokemon. Nice. Stacker, you seen a click. You've been going quite the train. Yeah, thanks to N, yeah, this this is allowed to happen. Even if, yeah, you don't run into Clink in the wild, or you don't find any of the traits that had a Clink, so yeah. Excuse me, I was a little excited, I forgot what matters. My name is Juniper, too. Cedric Juniper. Ah, uh, yeah. Reverse who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter, so yeah. Now we know, um, Juniper's father now, so that's pretty cool. 
That girl has told me a lot about you. It really makes like day to meet you. In all of our meeting, I'm gonna upgrade your Pokemon. We now have an upgrade Pokemon. Some Pokemon can change forms even when it's the same individual. If you've already seen a form, you can check it with you can check it with this whenever you want. I also had a function to make searching easier. Professor, who's that trainer? Well, I forgot my introductions. Sky, this is a friend of my daughter's. Theo is traveling around the universe to complete the Pokemon. Oh, I see, so that means you'll be challenged for the gym. Oh boy, I'm really looking forward to it. That's right, Fee, you should challenge this gym. If nothing else, this gym is really out there. See you, Sky. If something comes up again, I'll let you know. Professor, my plane is a cargo plane. It carries cargo, not people. And you're talking as if places like Kanto are sitting right around the corner. Oh, Sky, if you keep frowning, your face won't freeze like that, and that'd be a shame. People on Pokemon, we all have to, to help each other out. See you later. Sheesh, it's hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that could be a well-renowned Pokemon professor. Heads up, Theo. As a gym leader, I'd be happy to have you challenge the gym, but there's something I need to take care of first. Just now, as I was flying the cargo plane, I saw something on top of the Celestial Tower. I'm sure that that is a sick Pokemon. If it is, I can't just leave it there. I have to look into this right away. I'm leaving for Route 7 Celestial Tower. You can come along if you want. Alright, done. Let's keep looking around the town. If you have a chin badge from a straw that does sound cool. Cannons, cannons, Sky's gym is full of cannons. You see, you feel love to feel okay near the runway. Freshly picked, <laughs> freshly picked great vegetables can be sent to far off regions very quickly. Anyway, bestow again. We already seen that one. So yeah, is there anything else new here? Let's have a look. Magic room, alright. Magic is a very basic move that causes time to have no effect for a certain amount of turns. There's an effective use of this move in everyday life. For example, suppose a child is begging you to buy a toy. If you use this move at the exact moment the child picks up the toy, it will counter the I want this effect. Uh, okay then. Now that is bizarre right there. Anyway, the only planes that fly out of Mistrotion Airport are cargo planes. If trainers want to fly, they can go with a Pokemon that knows to move fly. Maybe that's why there aren't that many airports. But anyway, my dream is to become a pilot and fly away far away. I still have that dream in my heart. Sweet, lovely Sweetheart. Check things between two people. If you have Sweet Match, you can get Sweet on Sweetheart. Meltingly Sweet Sweetheart. You bring a lot of sea hoppies, I'll trade you for something good. So yeah, if you play the a mini game on the sea game, you can get some sweet hearts. I think it's like a Kabali check kind of mini game. And yeah, you can trade those in for hunt skills. Because I know a lot about planes, I can obtain them. Because I know a lot about Pokemon, I can be strong. What's that show again? Rocky Helmet. <laughs> Come on, of course I haven't. Amazing, you do though. Okay, well, I'll explain it anyway. When I attack this physical damage to Pokemon hold the Rocky Helmet, the attacker takes damage too. I'll try it. So put it on like so bad. Okay, watch you hit me with your best shot. Sha! No fair, you're not a Pokemon. So yeah, there you go. Look at the sky save Miss Stalter. Take this as a keepsake. Shot the Now he's a power flying type news. So there you go. The problem is, is that it doesn't work with acrobatics. So yeah, basically what Okay, this has is basically an invisible shot beat that raises the power of acrobatics. So yeah, that's kinda of one way to think about it still by him. Because of this control tower, planes can safely can fly safely in the sky where there are no roads. On that, I take this lesson. If trains lead Pokemon correctly, Pokemon feel safe and fight for When you use through fly, you can return to Pokemon sign you've already visited. But if Pokemon don't know their destination can't fly that. Yeah, that basically means you can't skip ahead in the game. For the places that I can't reach, I ask flying or second type Pokemon for help sometimes. Can you imagine every day like that Pokemon? Hello, they have a lot of cargo quickly. This is a Stolten cargo service. Because of this, yeah, yeah. So I talk to you. I think in Black White 2, if you do have a second fire type Pokemon, they can help out, and then yeah, you get some items for doing so. And anyway, we can't go to the gym, obviously, because Skylight is at Surgical Tower. So, let's go down the runway. Pokemon people let to go to a desert land and make a place that everyone could live. I'll, I'm certain that this corporate spirit remain unchanged. Anyway, what you got to say? It's dangerous to play in a landing ship. 
but you should be okay, final hours. We only have one cock reply today. And then over here, we got you. Planes, the shapes, they're perfectly designed to fly. There is no excess in the mechanics of flying. Anyway, over here, TM58 Skydrop. This move is interesting. <laughs> I can't remember it, its exact details because it's also a very remote move. There you go. 60 power, physical flying type move. The user hurls the target to the air, then drops on the second. The target cannot attack on the air. I believe the problem with this move was it had a glitch where um, you could make it so that I think it had something to do with like gravity, I believe. It's something like that. But basically, yeah, there was a glitch that made that when you use Sky Drop, um, the Pokemon that got Sky Drop will stay in the sky and basically not be able to act for the rest of the battle. So, yeah, I believe Sky Drop was actually banned for Beef Seat because of that glitch, because they couldn't figure out a way to fix it. So, yeah. Well, they weren't able to. Because, yeah, this was definitely an era where, like, download updates were a lot less rare or. Maybe even non-existent with DS games, so yeah. Why delicious, <laughs> delicious well yeah. Oh no. Great verse will sound a lot better, but, but anyway, I guess delicious also works. If you want to eat delicious great vegetables, the ones grow in the wild are the best. As the weather and the seasons change, wild vegetables get more and more tasty. You and Poco like to eat wild vegetables. So anyway, something cool here is that there's a virgin difference. Um if you're in black, instead of these basically soil patches, you'll have greenhouses instead. Because you have one interesting difference between the two versions is that white likes to favor um, past technologies, while black likes to favor future technologies. Anyway, this is an example of that. Anyway, we got all the items here. Alright, so uh, now I want to do something. So again, this is going to require me to do a little bit of preparation, but yeah, let's just say that yeah, I'm going to be preparing something for the future, so yeah, and that's going to require going to the big same as small ports, so yeah. I'm going to go to the boss, I'm going to be thinking about how I'm going to manage this, so yeah, give me a little bit. Yeah, here we are, so yeah, big stream has a game going on, so it's just going to be the small court for today. But anyway, the thing I did though was I gave one of my Mooners an EXP shirt, so yeah. We're gonna be taking a launch that here. With the big same as Smoke Now I can smash this elegant battle. So yeah, let's just, you know, do this for a little bit. So yeah. Because yeah, basically I'm preparing for something in the future, obviously, so yeah. Now how yeah, this is probably not the best time to use Joker. So yeah, once again, let's get out. Let's go to Armut. And yeah, we get the suit too, so that's fun. So yeah, once again, I'm not gonna take my chances here. Yeah, Zerf Strike the Kai counters Shultek smooth pull, so yeah. So once again, we'll just use armor here, the safe choice. It does a stop, which is very annoying, but there you go. We can pull those set, do a lot of damage, load that speed, and then yeah, keep going from that. Now we can out speed. There you go. Yeah, now yeah, her blitz will fall. I'm pretty sure this is the same trainer, so yeah. There's uh, Moonicle Lot Express. And he wants to side beam, I guess we can do that. Doesn't really matter what moves this is, all I really need it to do is get to a certain level, so yeah. And yeah, the having the XP share here is gonna make that a lot easier. Also, it's a kind of interesting way to show um, how this kind of works. I like how <laughs> the robot EXP kind of works too. Yeah, or the um, level 15, that's good. So there you go. And yeah, Amos does the lucky, not well, lucky, and the coin. <laughs> Joltex don't want the lucky X, so yeah. So we gained 5 levels in 1 battle right there, although yeah. Um, it's gonna have to be a bit slow for the rest, so yeah. Anyway, what are we gonna be fighting here? I think it's gonna be 2 sub strikers, is the problem, so yeah. Yup. Well, luckily, we can go into armor then. Joltik's not gonna get like any experience, so let's buy that, okay? Because that's what the future route is gonna do for us, but yeah. Uh, Muna, though, is gonna get a decent amount, so yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, let's try a heat crash, see how much damage it does. And yeah, we got the suit once again, so that's fun. 
At least they didn't double Pursuer, so I don't even know if that's a thing. <laughs> because Pursuit isn't used, like, at all in VGC, so yeah, I think that's one reason why it got removed from the game, even though I don't think that was a great idea, to be honest. That's okay. Yeah, it's kind of cool to have a move that affects switching out like that, because I mean, like, yeah, we do have an ability called Stake Out as well, so yeah. That does something similar. But it doesn't, um, affect... Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> you got crit. Now we're getting flame shots, so yeah. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, critical hits go through, you know, the stat, um... It goes through the stat, um, lowering as well, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice speed boost there, once again. I mean, Choltec's low, let's not use Choltec. Let's be small and use Keiko here. But yeah, these files, yeah, they're gonna be a bit rough. But yeah, I believe this is gonna be their strength. Um... I believe, yeah, next gym battle won't make them stronger. I think this is gonna be the gym battle after, so yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, we still get keep game pursuit. At least it doesn't do that much. Again, we have the EP light, so that helps. Go with a nice flame shot shot. Huh? Take out that sub striker good. Keep getting faster. I do wonder if I should keep flame charge. Probably not. I think I do have an idea of what my moveset's gonna look like, so yeah. Jolte actually does get a level up, so that's kinda of funny, but yeah, more importantly, Muna gets a level of XP. Now it's on Moonlight. And I'll get rid of Defense Kill, I guess. Even though I don't know if I really need a Prism but all. Again, it doesn't really matter what moves Muna has, so yeah. Maybe go for a nice side shot, and then we go take out the Zep Striker. Good. And then once again, we get some of XP. And once I hit this, but well, yeah, but you want so we don't need that. I got super excited. What a thrill, let's take my breath away. So yeah, that was good. If we keep coming here, then yeah, Muna is gonna get to the level I want to, so yeah. Which is around mid 20s, 24, 25 should do the trick. Any higher though, then yeah, we kind of lose that chance, so yeah, I better be careful with these last couple of level ups, I guess. Anyway. So yeah, now we're done here. So, I think what I'm gonna do is, yeah. Eh. Actually, there's one more thing I wanna do before ending this part, actually. I'll make this a slightly short one, because yeah. Next time we'll talk about a lot of new Pokemon, so yeah. And, well, I need Fly now, so yeah. I guess I'm gonna cut my way back to, um, Mr. Alton to show this thing. I don't think I've talked to you yet. I hear many people have had the Pokemon stolen by Team Plaza. Yep. So, yeah, I wanna take a sneak peek on Route 7, because I wanna talk to you. Oh, ball not to come talk to me, are you? You're quite the trainer, I like you. Take this TM. TM57 Charge Beam. A Pokemon uses charging, sometimes special attack and stuff. If you're lucky, the power just keep going up. He has a 50% chance to do so. It's a pretty interesting move because of that, so yeah. And yeah, it is a definitely a good move to conserve for war. And Chiltic, because yeah, Chiltic has compromised, so its 9% accuracy isn't as much of a problem. And yeah, it can also power up electrical. Thunder Wave also does as well, but yeah, Charge Beam. Also powers up Super Beam too, so yeah, that's definitely the reason to use it over um uh on the way. So yeah. So we've got a nice move set on Chiltic now. Nice and powerful as well. We got a nice charge beam. We got a nice electro ball now as well. So yeah. And yeah, also close to evolution too. And once that happens, yeah. Um I can take the lucky egg off, give them the magnet, and then yeah, we'll be good to go for the gym. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, with that done, yeah, next time, hopefully Chultic will evolve, that's going to be one of our main aims for next time, and we'll talk about many new Pokemon with Route 7 and the Celestial Tower, so yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.